Today we are taking a look at NordPass, the easiest and free way to secure all of your online passwords, credit card details, and private notes, all within one very simple and easy to use app. What's up guys, my name is George, I'm a freelance video marketer based in the north of England. On this channel, I share content all around tech, filmmaking and freelancing, so if that is your vibe, then hit subscribe and welcome to the channel. Full disclaimer before we get into the video, NordPass have sponsored this video. They reached out to me recently, seeing if I'd like to check out the NordPass software. As a fan of Nord as a company, having been a user of NordVPN in the past, I couldn't say no. I was very interested to see what the app was like and get on board with a good password manager. If you'd like to get started with NordPass right now for free, go check out the link in the description, nordpass.com forward slash George Holden, where you'll also be offered 70% off on a full membership. Before we get into the meat of this video, why do you need a password manager? What is a password manager? Like, why are we even talking about this? Online these days, we have accounts with all sorts of different websites, from social media to e-commerce to streaming services. So you genuinely have login details with maybe different email addresses, different passwords, and you can never really remember which one's which. Like I know I get onto some websites and I think, wait, is this with that old email or is this with my, my, my newer email? And also, which password is I using? Because I only have like so many passwords. It becomes unreliable and you get sort of susceptible to human error, like websites you don't go on forever and ever. If one of those is using a commonly used password by you and then it's accessed by a malicious third party, they suddenly have access to your email address and your password and they can then get onto any other website that uses those combination of things. And that's how people are sometimes susceptible to identity fraud. Getting on board with the password manager is essential. This is something that my friends and I have talked about for a little while and I've always just been sort of umming and ahhing like, oh yeah, I guess, because most browsers these days save quite a lot of your password information, but none of them do it quite as securely as NordPass. In this video, I'm not only gonna show how NordPass combats these issues, but I'm also gonna show how it makes your day-to-day -day online life that much easier. So far from my usage of NordPass, I found the interface very intuitive and very simple to use. They've managed to make it really user-friendly, so even someone who isn't particularly tech-savvy can get started and secure all of their online information. Nord guarantee that this app is backed using all of their latest technology in their next level encryption service that manages to keep all of your information totally safe. They do a lot of this with their zero knowledge architecture, which encrypts all of your information locally on your device, whether that's your phone, your PC, your tablet, whatever it is, all the encryption happens there before it's then backed up to their cloud. So everything they're storing in their cloud is already encrypted and only accessible by you. Now let's hop into NordPass on the PC. I'm gonna show you a little bit of using it in a real life situation as well as the in-app features. Okay, so when we first open the app, we are met with all of our items. You can see them all here. I hope you don't mind, but I've blurred out all of my own information just so that, you know, it's it's personal. You're not looking at all that stuff. Down the side, we have our categories. And this is where we have our login details for different websites, our secure notes if you want to make any of those, and then our saved credit card details. Then we have personal info, which we're gonna set up in a little bit. And below that, some shared items. This is where we can share passwords. So say if you had a family Netflix account, that you needed to give your password to multiple people. You can give that off to everyone, share it through here. It's all safe and secure. At the bottom here, we then have our personal folders, which you can add as and when you need for different categories of websites, car details, note taking, anything like that. Before we go onto the browser, I just wanna show you setting up something a little bit different. So we're gonna go into personal info, and this is where we have the online forms. I have not yet set this up. So, Okay, so with our basic form info filled out, we can go down to the bottom, we can select which folder we want to save it into. If we do, I'm gonna create a new folder. Let's call it form details. That is now created. I'm gonna add it into form details and save. For the most part, you will just wanna use your own personal info, but say if you have like a business address and business information, you can then make multiple profiles. So as and when you're filling out a form, it will give you the option of which one you would like to apply. Before we go into our browser, we're gonna go down to settings and have a look and see what we've got here. And at the top, one of the main things I wanna look at here is the browser extensions. So I already have mine installed on Microsoft Edge, but I'm just gonna click through and do it again. So we'll open it to Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge, because it still uses the Chromium open source software, will open it in the Chrome web store. But you can then open NordPass here, install it, and it will immediately pop up on Microsoft Edge. Here, mine's already given me the option just to remove it because I've already got it installed. So we'll just move on from that. So now that we have our browser extension installed, we're gonna go over onto Amazon, first of all. 
And on Amazon, I'm going to go to sign in. I've got my email address already popped up here. And we can see to the right of it, we've got this little NordPass symbol. And then I can select Amazon wants to use that email address. It's added my NordPass password. And we're in. So then within Amazon, what I want to show you guys is how to add car details so that you can save it easily. So there are two ways we could do this. We could actually add the car details within Amazon.co.uk, or I could create the car details in NordPass and then have them be auto filled onto Amazon.co.uk, which is what I'm going to do now. So just really quick, I'm just going to blur slash speed up this process. Okay, cool. So I've got my new car details added in put them into my card deeds folder so they're easy to find in the future. Then we're gonna go back over here onto amazon.co.uk where I can go down to my information. So we're down to your payments, payment methods. We've got my other payment methods that are already on here. I'm gonna go on to add a new card. So rather than having to add everything as I normally would when you go onto a new website and you have to like pull out your cards and remember where everything is, is you got got NordPass either on your PC or on your phone, your laptop, your tablet, wherever you've got it. You can then just go over to where it says card number and I've got the options here to have this one added. There we go. Add your card. And then I'm gonna choose this address. And that's great, so now we have that card added into amazon.co.uk saved for future use. The next thing I'd like to show you guys is the process of setting up a new account on a new website for the first time using NordPass. So how it will actively save your information into the app for use across your other devices. For this example, we're gonna go on Notion. To demonstrate this process, I'm gonna use Notion.so, which is an amazing productivity app. So I'm gonna sign up using an email address. I've got one of my email addresses here to terms so at the bottom of creating a new account here on notion we've got nordpass popped up and it has said do you want to use one of these passwords and here i can select different passwords i can go through and it'll give me loads of different options so i'm happy with one of these random passwords they are essentially gibberish i'm going to do that one and then at the top right we've got this save this login to nordpass it knows it's notion it knows the website i'm going to save this to one of my folders and then, boom, that is saved to NordPass, this is saved to Notion, and now we know that NordPass and Notion are now fully synced up, and I've got those details across all my devices. So if I go back over here into the folder that I just saved that to, Web and Biz, I've got Notion now saved with that email at the top. Probably the most time consuming part of setting up NordPass is the fact that you have to go through some of your old websites that have maybe out of date passwords and update them. To do this, it's not super tricky, but it will take you a little bit of time going through each website. So under my social media websites, I've got Facebook here as many of us do. And say I wanna go into this and I wanna change my password because I have actually had that password for maybe a bit too long, but who knows? And I can say generate password. I've just been offered a password. Before I'm gonna to commit to using that password, what I first need to do is update that password on Facebook itself. So I'm just gonna log in. So it knows my current password, thank you NordPass. <laughs> so to update this password, I could do two different things. I could update it using a password recommendation on NordPass within Facebook, which will then create a new login profile on NordPass, or what I can do is go here, generate a password within NordPass, and then I've selected this one here. I'm gonna use that password. It's already now saved there. And then I go on to Facebook, save that one. And that's now updated on both Facebook and NordPass, so they are fully in sync. One last thing within the NordPass app on the PC is our secure notes. So here, what we can do is we can save notes that nobody else can get access to because they are encrypted on our device. So I already have one note that I've named, my super secret note that says that I'm allergic to dairy, don't tell anyone please, okay thanks, bye. But I wanna create another note. So I'm gonna add a secure note and I call it my second note. This is a note, please don't read, it's just for me. And I'm gonna save this down to my super secret notes and then hit save. That's now saved within my notes on the NordPass app on the PC. Now, before we finish up, 
Let's open up NordPass on our phone. We can go into it, then enter your master password, which you will be asked to do every time you create a new password on NordPass. And what I'm going to do here on NordPass is I'm going to go in and rather than having to put in my master password every single time, under more, I can go down to settings and then here I can have unlock with biometrics. So I can enter my master password essentially for the last time until I need to. So with that now set up, that means every time it asks me to log in again, it will hopefully just use my face ID. And then if for some reason, like I'm wearing a face mask in COVID times, then I was putting my master password again, as you would with other apps. So under browse, we have things like our logins we can go to, which are all the information that we've already mentioned. And then and similarly with our folders, we can go into there and we can see everything that's listed under our folders that we've created ourselves. So the NordPass app on the phone is amazing because it means that everything you've saved on your PC also gets brought over here. So no matter what browser or anything you're using, as long as you've got that extension enabled within the browser, then it will always show up and be able to help you log into any website which you might have forgotten your information for. That is it from me today, guys. That is everything I have for you today on NordPass. I hope it has been helpful for you and I hope you have a bit more of an understanding about password managers and why they're important and why NordPass does such an amazing job. Your passwords and credit card details are very sensitive sensitive information and I think we are often quite candid about just putting in the same old goofy password here and there when they're actually very sensitive information and if they got into the wrong hands they could cause a massive detriment to your life and cause a bit of a speed bump even at the best of times they could definitely do a big hit to you financially if someone got a hold of your credit card details or if they tried to do identity fraud or anything like that so do take it a bit more seriously. Check out NordPass. The link is below. Get started for free and get 70% off when you use that link. Thank you very, very much for watching and thank you to NordPass for sponsoring this video. If you have any more questions about NordPass or password managers or other software you'd like me to take a look at, drop them in the comments below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm out.